Hi everyone, this is Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at Double Twist. Double Twist is an application that is mainly used for your Android phone, but can be used with Palm Pre and many other devices to help you sync your music and manage your media between your computer and your Android phone. Now, as you can see right here, it's brought up the Android Marketplace, and that's kind of the initial startup when you bring up the application. And you can see the different applications, such as Double Twist right here. We'll click on that. It will give you the description of the application and what it is, and you can take a picture of the barcode and download the application for yourself, or you can search it using the search in the App Store. Now let's go back. And now that you see the Android Marketplace, let's move on to Podcast Search. Now I'll show you the features of this application first, and then we'll show you the application of it with a Droid phone. So here we have Podcast Search, and we have Buzz Out Loud, and Planet Money, and pretty much any one of your favorite podcasts. I listen to Twit a lot, and Mac Break Weekly, and Windows Weekly, and we have all these different episodes, and we can play them. We also can search by video and audio. There we go. So we also have that. We also have a music store that uses Amazon's MP3 Marketplace. And as you can see, here's your, uh, your albums. You can search for them. You can buy them, download them, and move them because they're DRM-free and put them on any device you'd like. We also have music on the left, photos, and movies. Let's go to music. And what we can do is pull from different sources. And as you can see here, it has iTunes and music. And so we have artist, album, and genre. And over to the right, we have our different albums, or artists rather. And to the right, we have all of the albums from the different artists. We can change these views simply by changing the view down here. Or we can remove the browser altogether and just search through our music. We can switch to an album art view of all the music. Or we can go back to the list view and bring the browser down. And that's what I prefer. It just seems to be easier to manage the music. We also have photos, which I'm not going to go into, but it's pretty simple. You also have movies. Now, these movies will not work if they're DRM'd on your Android phone, but here's some that I've made, the Zolotech the Droid phones. You can drag and drop those right onto your device. You can also, again, change the source, movies, and that's, that's pretty much it for that. We also have playlists, and you can create playlists just like you could in iTunes. Now, I must say that this application is much faster than iTunes and works for both, both your Mac and your PC. So I think you'd be pretty wise to go check it out and see what it's all about. Even if you're not going to keep it for a long time, it's a free application, so why not check it out if you haven't heard of it? Now, let's go up to the preferences. We'll go back to music. And here we'll go to Preferences, and we have Check for New Versions. We have our library. We can automatically import iTunes playlists if you have a bunch of those that you'd like to move over. And Devices. We can use the highest encoding quality when converting videos to work on that specific device that's plugged in. Let's go ahead and check out the other options. File, Edit, View are pretty standard. Store, Donate. You can donate blood or buy us a drink. Window, and Help. So let's go ahead and plug in an Android device. Here I have the Droid 2. Oh, wrong side. Let's plug that in. Now I do have this in USB mass storage mode, and for some reason I get this error on my Mac. I just ignore it and it seems to work fine. And as you can see, it doesn't come up as a Motorola Droid 2, and they're ever expanding their support for different devices. Now it shows up as a generic Motorola, but that's fine. It seems to work without a problem. So let's go ahead and instead of syncing the music where you could sync all of your music or your selected playlists, uh, we're going to drag and drop. Now we can see what's on here by clicking music. I have a couple of my things, some Anne Berlin music, photos. I have photos I've taken of the MacBook Air that I was doing a review on. I also have no movies in there. So let's go ahead and go to photo or music rather. And I don't know, let's go down to is kind of an obscure band. Let's go here. Drag and drop. Now if this has DRM on it, it will not work. And it will let you know that. And I'm not sure if this does. I hope it doesn't. I'm uh, Most of my music's pretty much DRM free, but at this point I don't really know the difference since I generally use it on an iPod. But this makes it much nicer to use on Android devices, I believe. If you like the drag and drop, you could do that also, but this just syncs everything and it's easy to manage your different files. So the music's on here now. That band is called Search the City. 
and they're on here. We also have photos, like I said, and movies. For the most part, depending on the device you have, whether it be a Palm Pre, a Andro or an, an Android phone, or some other device, maybe a BlackBerry, it works pretty well with just about any device and very similarly. Now it's not perfect, but it is free, and I think it's a great device, and you should check it out both on Windows and PC, or <laughs> Windows and Mac, rather, and uh, I think you should check it out. So here's their website, and it kind of gives you an idea of what the application is for. Now there are different versions here. Oh, I'm downloading it for PC. So I was looking for Linux support specifically. I didn't think they had it, but it is available for Mac and PC. So if you have either one of those platforms, check it out. And I think it'll be pretty helpful if you like to manage your music this way. Please feel free to comment and ask any questions you might have. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.